good morning student i hope you have done this activity number 1 as i told you you need to write the examples here only now the next the nature of matter from the above it is clear that there are different kind of matter with different property so different kind of matter which means that wood metal paper leather plastic cloth this this all are different kind of matter okay and all of them have a different property you know what is the property of wood metal leather paper basic property that you know about now it is observed that all form of matter occupy space now occupy space what is the meaning of space suppose i am giving you uh, showing you one example suppose i have this thing i have this thing i am putting here i have put here which means that this much of the space is occupied by this material by this thing right and this so we can say that though this is pen i kept here i keep here keep it here so this one also occupy a space other thing you can take anything like this scale i have the scale also occupy space this much of space occupy so it is observed that all form of metal occupy space the space occupied by matter is called volume remember this thing underline this the space occupied by matter is called volume i will explain about this in detail later right now you just learn that the all the objects all the observation all the things all the materials all the matters are occupy space and have a definite mass definite mass which means that this pen i put i keep it here i keep it here so this much of space it occupy this thing this much of space is occupy and this thing also have a mass mass also have the pen also have a mass the scale also have a mass so all of this thing have a mass so in short we can say that that anything that has a mass and occupy space is called matter after understanding this point okay i'll give you one other example here it is matter can also be a perceived by our sense as i told you before whatever we we can see whatever we can touch whatever we can feel we taste every single thing is known as a matter so matter we can perceive by our sense we know what are the sense of organ five right sense of organ you know very well the eye nose uh, ear tongue skin all of them are sense of organs and through that whatever thing we can uh, find we can feel every single thing is known as a matter so we cannot see air but we can feel its presence by breathing we can feel it okay now the matter of a resistance to matter have a resistance capacity like here example is given if you try to swim in a fast flowing water which means that running water running very fast running water like a river water uh, which is running very fast so that river water or the fast flowing water in opposite direction if you try to swim swim you need to try very hard because the water can resist you another example you try to walk during an air storm which means the very high speed air storm is coming in front of you and you try to walk in opposite direction so you that air storm is resist you so you will experience that res you air resistance you and you have done this before so may, so many things we learn so hence the matter is something that we can see touch taste smell or feel so anything that has a mass and occupy space is called a matter i hope till here you understand student now today after the understanding this till here this is the exercise i am sending you the question answer that you copy in your textbook you need to write a lesson number 3 exercise 1 
and answer I am sending you that answer after the watching this video answer you need to write copy it from uh, pic, uh, picture that I am sending you ok you hope you understand this afterward the next point I will explain later till then thank you.